Hey, what's up? Well, um, I'm gonna, you know, I have a lot of stuff here. This is yet another unboxing, and I think I'm gonna postpone this video again. You know, I gotta make the videos while I can, post them later while I can't, um, because I have a very good idea that, you know, I'm gonna be away. It's So it's like, if I actually posted them on the day that they are taken, it would be like video, 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 every day almost, and then it would seem like I'm dead in the months that would follow. So, what I like to talk about in this video is, um, I like to update you on, see if only that thing would fit there, um, my Ken, I'm kind of running out of shoes, the Kens, sadly but surely, um, I don't want to buy any more. But I'm going to use the undesirable shoes and try to um, tape them or something like that. But this guy, you know, he's in beach attire. So sandals would really serve him well if they would stay on his feet. But that's the problem. That's easier said than done. I'd almost need a big old piece of tape, um, you know, and then that might put glue on it. But what I was talking about with his height is that he's slightly shorter. I said 5'6", I was probably, I mean, no. He's about 5'6", and this guy's about 5'11". So he's slightly shorter than most other male dolls. And that's one thing that makes him appealing, though he's certainly not little boy height. He's short man height, whatever that means. Um, and what I like about, you know, such dolls like that is they go together nicely with cheap dollar store Barbies who are slightly shorter than average as well. You know, they're not the full, well, really and truly, I mean, it, it's a little known fact that Barbie is not a full 11 and a half inch doll. She's more like um, 11 and a quarter. And considering that that's with high heels, so she'd be just slightly over 11 inches, which is really 5'6", five, 5'7". As a real person, and Ken's not a full 12 inch. He's more like, um, you know, 5'11 out of 6 feet. Um, and this guy, you know, he's more like 5'7, 5'8 ish. So, like, more of a short guy, you know, average short guy. Um, and he's more like an average taller guy. Um, so, yeah. And then there's this other one of the few hollow Ken's ever made was a Simba Ken, and I just hope they don't start deteriorating. It seems like I had another hollow Ken from the 60s, but somehow the rubber, the polymer, broke down and it deteriorated. Um, and this doll right here, I finally put her in her dress, um, and so I have to write a review and thank the seller who lives in my state. And um, I want to do another unboxing of two more dolls that I probably shouldn't have bought. And these two, God, I hate the word, it takes an act of Congress to get these dolls unboxed. Well, one of them is a kid curl, little toddler. And no, I'm not going to make her a boy as much as that's tempting. And the other two are very special. Why they didn't put their outfits on them, I'm not sure, but I might need to wash the outfits because they might be staining the dolls, so I'm going to wash them with my laundry, which stinks already. You know, that's one thing I hate is I have such a problem with body odor. I can take the best bath in the world and... You know, a few hours later, I already stink. So I'm going to wash some laundry again. But what's special about these dolls is that they're another clone of Stacy. Much closer to being like Stacy. But instead of Kidcore, they're Totsy. So that's another doll company that made dolls in the 90s. And no, I'm not going to make them brother and sister. You know, I've gotten to the point where... 
I've started to just leave well enough alone and let them be two sisters. You know, I'm not as hung up on having as many boys as girls. Although I do like to see male dolls. You know, this is a Lucky in Lucky Industries male. And this is two Totsy Stacy's. So that's what makes them special. And they have earrings, which is why they wouldn't make good boys. That's why Kid Core dolls made better boys than they do. Because they didn't have default earrings. So I'm going to wash their clothes. And, you know, hope that the coloring doesn't cause any problems. And the other thing I want to talk about with the rest of this video time is my male craft dolls. I don't know if you can see that, but there were a few, and I emphasize few, actual male craft dolls the size of a Stacy doll. And not all of them had a male version, but that's one thing um, about fiber craft. And it has a lot to do with the time at which the dolls were made. I don't know what it is, but it's like something about well I guess you know in the early days of dolls when they hadn't seen it quite so many times proven over and over again you know that boy dolls don't sell and when the economy was just a little bit better there used to be more knockoff boys and I only wish they could be more numerous and more diverse but you know the fact that there exists you know, a typical brunette white male in a lot of different styles is an awesome thing. And, um, you know, I wish there were some more modern ones. You know, I wish you could still go to the Dollar General and find such dolls. I mean, I don't know if they were ever at Dollar General, but, you know, back in the 80s, whatever cheap store existed. But... There was a time when they were more willing to gamble, you know, with male dolls that may or may not sell. And, um, you know, the way I feel about male dolls, which I might have a part three unboxing with another kind of male doll. You know, this is, I put them in whatever I can find. So, you see how, like... One of them's in a makeshift Mickey Mouse sweater. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But that's like a patriotic Mickey Mouse sweater. And I put them in kind of whatever white shoes or whatever would fit. And the way I feel about them is that um, I have kind of an anything goes attitude about male dolls. You know, I am of the mindset that, um, you know, this mentality that they, that boys have to look good or they have to be in style or, you know, because the girls are in dresses that they have to be in a suit or a nice outfit like a ring bearer. Well, I think that's bull. I think that's stupid. You know, that male dolls should all have to be in a stupid black and white suit with a necktie you know, just to look good with a female doll in a dress. Well, I don't, I don't believe that's the case because I see male and female as opposites. So if femininity is all about caring what you look like and having a nice dress, though I'd rather it not be a wedding dress for obvious reasons. I don't have positive thoughts about weddings, you know, especially being born in the wedding month as well as Pride Month. I don't have positive feelings about marriage and weddings. And I don't like how they're especially marketed at girls and women as their whole purpose in life. You know, their biggest accomplishment in life is to get married. I see them as a systematic enslavement of those who can have a baby by those who can't. That's what I see it. I don't see it as a wonderful day to wear a white dress. In fact, I hate white. Um, it's my least favorite color to wear for obvious reasons. 
Um, but, you know, I, I, the way I see male and female is that they're opposites. And so if, if being a girl is all about caring what you look like and having a pretty dress and long hair and makeup and all that, well, being male is about not giving a care, to put it nicely, not giving a whatever you want to put in that blank, not giving a whatever four-letter word you want to use about your looks. You know, that's what being male or masculine is all about. You know, it isn't about being a superhero or being strong or tough. It's about being unfeminine, about not caring, not giving a tinker's damn what you look like. And so the way I feel about it is that, um, you know, boy dolls, in my mind, are more about what they don't wear than what they do wear. You know, they try to avoid, well, the, the, the goal with a boy doll is to make it look unfeminine, to make it known that it's not a girl doll. You know, because it's not wearing whatever um, dresses or whatever is considered frilly or feminine. Um, so, you know, I have kind of a uh, anything goes idea about like male dolls, you know, I don't really care if they look all that nice, you know, just I don't like them to be shirtless um, but just a plain old pair of shorts and a shirt or, you know, a pair of jeans yeah, it could even be something I made to look like a pair of jeans or you know, pretty much anything goes you know, they can be as casual as they want to be you know, because, I mean, people have pretty much decided that um, they're pretty much never seen in weddings anymore, you know. It's like, you know, why do they get to be exempt, you know, from that ceremonious performance called marriage or weddings? Um, you know, it's like, if people have one child in a wedding, standing in a wedding, it's usually a flower girl, or even multiple flower girls. And they're less likely to have a ring bearer, you know. And so because they don't, you know, a lot of little boys just never even get dressed up for anything. Um, it's almost like if they have to get dressed up, they just may as well not even go. Um, in some cultures, well, British people, in British culture, um, they don't even wear pants until they're eight years old. You know, because of breaching tradition, so... You know, it's like, you know, why, why, um, the way I feel about it is that if they're a boy, you know, they don't have to perform anything, you know, they don't have to look a certain way, um, you know, casual is just fine, you know, whatever I can rig up as far as attire, you know, it should be fine, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and post this video and stay tuned for part three.